How's she going, eh? Um, got this 425 for the G body pretty much wrapped up. Um, since I'm not running a spacer on it due to hood clearance, and it's still going to be tight. I cut down the divider, and it really helps her out on the top end, that's for sure. Um, usually I would just put a one inch open spacer or bigger, but hood clearance, it won't work. So that's what I did and it'll work. Um, I've never seen a motor lose power by putting an open spacer on, even on like a, any factory four barrel intake, they always seem to liven up on the top end. The only time I could see not doing that is uh, for like a pulling up application, a motorhome or a pull rig. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to do that. It probably wouldn't pull a sick whore off a piss pot after. So if you were to put a spacer on one, like a tow rig, because of vapor locking or an issue like that, I would put a, like a four hole spacer on it. So anyhow, that's taken care of. The manifolds are on. Um, I'm going, I'm going to plug the bypass and the heater. I'm just going to cap everything off. Uh, and so the water pump doesn't deadhead to make a wild loop. What I did is I uh, took a 160 thermostat and I drilled six holes in it. And they're probably, I'd say close to 3 16 So anyhow, it'll get all the air out right away. And uh, it'll always have some flow and the pump won't be fighting against uh, like deadheading. So it'll work um, yeah so I just wanted to show that I am getting a little bit done here I got the G body motor mounts on as well um, they're from Rock Auto there's only a couple kinds you can get and I think they're all made in India or China and they're absolute garbage um, I had a set on my 48 brand new within one week I had the driver side one just tore apart so um, the best thing you can do if that's all you can put in for mounts is uh, run a chain down to the frame or uh, I think Dick Miller sells uh, solid mounts but you might as well make them yourself because they're, his pricing is absolutely ridiculous for a piece of plate with a couple crochet welds on it so yeah I will uh, keep you guys updated and hopefully in a week or so it's in the car running and I'll uh, be uh, beating on it like a rented mule. So we'll see how she goes. All right, next time.